in a tradition by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There is one from Abu Huraira and also the other one from Anas ibn Malik. Would the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say that? Kita unka kita ilayl al Muslim. Fitanu unka kita ilayl al Muslim. There is a tribulation like a piece of a dark night. A tribulation like a piece of a dark night approaching the Ummah. Maybe these days we say this: Be who rajulu mu umina wa yusi kafira. A situation whereby someone will go to bed as a Muslim before daybreak. He is already a kafir. Well, you see, mu'mina will use be kafir. He can spend the whole of the day as a Muslim. And before the next day, he is already a kafir. What are the costs? Because of certain temptations, you are tempted to do evil. You are not encouraged to do the right thing. A society that celebrates evil. A society that will always discourage you to do the right thing. But Islamically, when you are not opportune to be among this kind of people, then there are also certain things that is expected from you. It is not an opportunity to be in this kind of society. Far back, after the death of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, one of the companions of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was saying, he said, "We live in a time where I don't care who I will give my allegiance to because everybody is right. But this time I'm approaching. He says, I'm only giving my allegiance to few number of people." At that time, we approach home and be searching for bad people because it is very hard to find. At this time, it requires a Herculean task to find a good person. That is when the society have totally decayed and. Uh, you now, you are not opportunity, it's not an opportunity. You just find yourself in this kind of society. Then how can you survive it? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also told us something in also one of the traditions of Salim, Talib ibn Aousa Ad-Dahj. He said, Bada al-Islam ugarim, wa sayyud ugarim ba. For ubari ni gona ba. You see, you see, this religion, it has started as a stranger. And so will it end as a stranger too. But when that time comes, be among the strangers. And they say for Ubar and Goraba, meaning blessed are the strangers. So to survive and to hold on to your religion in a morally decadent society, you have to accept that you are a stranger. Why are you a stranger? Because also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi also made mention of who is that stranger in a society whereby it is, you know, the moral decay is apparent everywhere and is also celebrated. Who is that stranger? He said, Al-Ladhina Yusli Hune Ida Fata There are those people that are upright even though other people choose to be corrupt. When people choose to be corrupt and you decided to be upright, then you are now holding on to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed you to hold on to. That is the religion. But remember, holding on to the religion, as said by the Prophet is just like holding on to a Jamra, you are just like holding on to fire. It's very hot. You cannot hold on to it for long. It, you must have to be very patient. The prophet talk about of, of, of uh, the prophet talk about a yamu sabbath, the time of patience, the time that me and you, 
must persevere and stand firm and hold on to what we believe in. But remember, in this kind of society, you as a stranger, you will understand that you are few. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, those Guraba that you are referring to, they are few among me. Only few people listen to them. Only few people adhere to their instructions. Majority of the society look at you as a, you know, as someone that is not, is not enlightened because you hold on to your deal. 